Hey everyone, this is Misty. I am the person behind Moody Pumpkin Crafts and you guys are here for the very first podcast episode. Uh, hopefully this all works out. I'm trying my mic out. I am using the oldest iPad known to man and we're going to see what happens. And hopefully as things go on, um, We'll just see. So, like I said, I'm Misty. Uh, I am Moody Pumpkin Crafts on Instagram. Um, Moody Pumpkin Craft. They wouldn't let me add the S on Ravelry. And Moody Pumpkin Crafts on TikTok. Um, and on Facebook, it just has my name, Misty, and my S-T-Y in front of it. So, that's where you can find me on social media. Um... I say I'm a lot. I, you're just going to find little ticks that I do, obviously. Uh, and we're on the back porch because it's an actual nice fall day here in Georgia where I live. So yeah. Um, also, I'm not going to edit this. So any of the fun stuff that you hear or, or I say is going to be included. So there's that. Um, let me tell you a little more about me personally, like, so you can get to know me. I'm a nurse. Um, um, I'm a wife. I've been married. Halloween will be 13 years this year, so um, Halloween's my favorite holiday. Um, I'm a Hufflepuff for all of you Harry Potter fans. Um... I read, I watch YouTube, I watch movies, I listen to audiobooks. When I say I read, that's what I do, because how am I supposed to craft and read books at the same time? So, um, let's see, what else can I tell you? I love fall. I mean, I think that's a basic um, white girl thing. I can't help it. Uh, coffee's life. I did say I was a nurse, so. Um, what else do I want to tell you guys? I am what I like to call by craft, craft deal or by stitchual, meaning I can knit or loom knit. I can do both, and I can crochet. Those are all kind of fibery crafts that um, I do, and there's like different communities for each one, but I can do all. So, um, let me tell you how long I've been doing some of that stuff. So I've been a crocheter probably about 13 years. Um, my husband and I, <laughs> when we first got married, moved into a house, we didn't have cable and it had the TV had like three channels and one of them was like the public broadcasting channels. So, <laughs> There you go. Um, so I taught myself to um, crochet then. I had like a book, but that wasn't working. Uh, I used YouTube videos, Mikey. Um, used to be Mikey's mail, but now it's Crochet Crowd. Uh, he's great, so I used him. Um, I taught myself to knit. Um, and I think I just started looking up, I can't even tell you who I actually used. I just started looking up stitches after um, a while. And I probably have been knitting or knowing the stitches. Let me put it that way. I've been knowing the stitches for probably about six years. Um, I've probably been loom knitting a little longer than that. I would say probably about six eight years maybe so um you know that was really cool because I was like oh I can use the looms to make knitted stuff because I really liked the way it looked however there was it was new and so there was a lot of different things um and I didn't understand the gauges but like the sizes between the pegs made a difference things like that so that was you know, that wasn't as enjoyable. I, I, crochet was my main um, fiber-related hobby for a long time. 
until here recently when I got back into knitting because I found out that YouTube has knitting podcasts. They have crochet podcasts too, and I watch some of those as well. And I'll tell you about who I watch later on because I have a whole thing of people that I love. Um, so that's a lot about me. If you want to know more, you can always ask in the comments. I will, um, you know, be more than happy to answer those. Uh, okay. Let's show you some of the finished objects that I finished either recently, and I can tell you those I've done recently, or um, just in general, so you can see some of my projects that I've done. Um, a lot of these are crochet. I have some knit. I do. Sorry, this is a for a, a work in progress. So, we are going to show you some stuff. Okay. So I'm going to start with this because it's just the closest and this is actually like my most recent finished object. This is the child hat for um, a friend of ours who is having a baby. So I just made this up. Uh, there is no pattern. I did not use a pattern for this. So I made this myself. Um, but yeah, so that's this. Let's see. Oh, um... I'm going to show you all of these. So I had a friend in a group that was like, I'm just not getting this square. And I was like, okay, cool. Let's take a look at it. And I, to explain something, I need to be able to see it myself. And um, sometimes work it up myself. So that's where this came, came from. And eventually I'm going to make um, a blanket out of these four squares. But there are these... Uh, squares with the bobble stitch and I've got them in pink and green and orange and this really cool blue hold on a second I'm trying to turn it the right way and this blue so eventually I'll make some make it into a blanket but they're all it's just like little skulls and I if there's a pattern for anything, I will make sure to link it um, so that, you know, you guys can see those as well. I just threw the child hat in the floor. Hold on. Okay. Um, this is just like a half double crochet cowl. You know, just something simple. Um, I was just using some leftover yarn. I call it Rainbow Bright. It's just half double crochet. It's really fun and just sits. I was going to put it on, but then I remembered I put the mic on, so that's probably not a good idea. But, yeah. Bright colors. I like bright colors. Um, this is... So, the last two projects that I showed you, I mean, I've, I've done those before, so... I'll definitely be able to tell you something that I've completed like in the last week or so. But this is probably my first ever hat. It's like a little slouchy hat and you can put it on. I'll put it on. Let's see. And, um, you know, you just put it on like this. It's, it's slouchy in the back. A little boho hat. I made this back in the day. Probably... One of the first hats I ever made. So, yeah. Just a little gray slouch. You can see it's been well loved because it's got little, like the yarn's all halo-y. It's because it's been washed and loved because I wear it frequently. Um, let's show you some loom knit stuff. Because that was next. I just saw it together. Okay. So this is, these are fingerless gloves, uh, loom knit fingerless gloves, doesn't matter which way you put them on, they're just warm, they were really fun, um, this is definitely a bulky weight yarn, just red and pink, I like colors, um, so that's that, I made two of them, so here's the other one, and then there wasn't enough of the black left, but there was 
enough um, pink left. So I made just one of those like little ear warmers with the twisted front here and then I crocheted um, around the edges before I sewed the twisted parts together. But yeah, so super cute. And then I made this Luminant hat. This hat is, I don't remember the name of it, but it's super warm. It's very bulky. Um, it makes a very dense fabric, but I just loved it because it had the little swirl pattern because I just, I love that. But it's Luminant and I will definitely post a link to this because I know there's a pattern for this and there's a pattern for the, um, fingerless gloves it's a youtube pattern for the fingerless gloves but this is an actual pattern so we'll do that uh i'm just gonna start grabbing stuff now this is also luminant this is bernat blanket i had um oh i forgot it in there i made um like a round pillow for myself like the long ones so i made one of those and I made a little bunny out of that Bernat blanket and I had some more left over. So this is just one of those little ear warmers you can wear. I thought it would be cute because it's kind of Valentine-y. So this one is Loom Knit too. So let's see. What do I have next? Some little baby hats. This is actual crochet. It looks like knitting because of these little stitches here, but this is crochet. And I have two of them because <laughs> the story of the hat is I made this one, wove all the ends in, and I was like, okay, great. And I was supposed to give these to somebody and couldn't find it. So then I did it again and then the person never responded, which is no problem. Obviously, they're still sitting here. So that was like a year ago. So when somebody has a little girl, because they're little, the little hearts are pink, then I have hats. Let's see, let me show you what I have next. Another little twisted headband I just had some pink yarn. I wanted to use it up. It's like really bright. Wow. So I really want to just use this up. And I think this is just, it looks like half double crochet in the back loops because that way it gives you that little ridge. Again, I just made it up. And this is a really cute pattern. It's a diamond hat pattern um, and I put a pom-pom on it and the pom-poms coming apart so uh, I don't claim to be an expert at anything so if anybody knows how to make something better or do something better with the pom-poms let me know like I can stick my finger through here and feel the the string where the pom-pom is supposed to be tied together so but I know everybody loves those fur pom-poms I think they're cute but I have yarn I should just make my own pom-poms is how I feel sometimes so anyways we'll see but this is um and also a pattern that I will find for you all and put it in the description box below I think this is a I can't remember if this is a video pattern you guys it may not be so um but I'll post links to everything that I can find so you guys can see these patterns that I have. Um, I'm digging. Sorry, I'm trying not to knock everything off too. Okay, so I participate in uh, a lot of the Marley Bird cowls or crochet alongs or knit alongs, whichever one you do. <laughs> this is a, this is supposed to be a scarf. This was her last mosaic one. It was so much fun, so pretty. I have a problem checking gauge because I don't like to do it and so it turned out super big but it's very comfy like you can just wrap it several times but um, yeah so lots of mosaic stitches 
This one was super fun. I think she still has it available. But, yeah, for sure check your gauge. Even though I'm terrible at it, I'm still going to tell you to do it. Uh, I dropped something. Hold tight. I'm sorry if I made a really bad noise with that. Um, all right, cool. Okay. So this is one of the boho bobble. Um, I wish this showed up a little better because this is more purple, not blue. I don't know why it's showing up like that. Let's see. It's still showing up purple. I think it's the light. But anyway, so it's purple. Yep, those show up blue too. Anyways, they're both purple. These are fingerless um, gloves that are the crocodile stitch. So that's what these are. And then this is the boho bobble. And I'll show you this. This is from Bagaday Crochet. Uh, she did a great tutorial on that. The scales are not on the back side, which bothered me. That's why I had never made them until recently. Because I made myself a pair in the like burgundy pink color. Um, this is that yarn. What's it called? Super Saver Ombre. So this is the pink one and I cannot remember the name but if I find it I'll definitely uh, definitely there are words somewhere um, put the color yarn that I used for this uh, down in the link because I know what it is because I used it for these as well and these are a Christmas present for a friend and then our co-worker and this is a Christmas present for a co-worker so she wanted some fingerless gloves and then the other co-worker both of their favorite colors are purple, so I didn't want to make them the same thing. So one's getting a headband, and one's getting fingerless gloves. Christmas presents. They're not going to watch this. So, that's that. I'm stuffing everything under my camera right now. Um, this is my candy corn Halloween hat. I don't know where I found this pattern. Cannot tell you to save my soul. But... Um, this pom-pom's a little better constructed, but it's just a cute little Halloween hat, little candy corn. It's so cute. I love it. So, because Halloween's my favorite. But I noticed that I really haven't made anything Halloween related Okay, so these next few things I'm going to show you are things that I've recently finished, like in the month of September and um, October. So I can definitely tell you I did finish those. Um, I actually, this is just a twisted um, headband. I This is needle knit. This yarn was dyed by one of my crochet club friends that we, or not crochet, but um, meetup friends is what I should say. And um, she dyed this beautiful yarn and I was like, I'm gonna make, it was for my 10 year anniversary. Didn't happen. Okay, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna make my husband a hat out of this. And for some reason, when I crocheted with this yarn, I just didn't, I didn't like the way it worked up, but that was me. Like, it's beautiful yarn. I love it. So, I made him a Ross hat, which he's put away and I couldn't find before this uh, recording. But then there was enough left over. There was not enough to make another Ross hat, but there was enough left over. And I made myself some ear warmers. So, now we have matching hat and ear warmers. So, I love it. Let's see if I can put it on make it not look terrible. And this one's kind of wide, so like usually I make my ear warmers kind of smaller, but I think perception-wise with knitting, I'm not as, um, it's not as easy for me to see the, the length, the width as it is with a crochet project. Usually I'd wear my hair like on top of my head for this. 
you know, in one of those little messy buns. But see, it's super cute. I love it. It's like a lot of coverage back here, and I probably just rubbed this mic, and I'm so sorry, y'all. Oh, Lord, I hope it doesn't sound terrible. Okay, moving on. So this was something I just finished recently. Um, so I am a huge Harry Potter fan. My niblet is a huge Harry Potter fan. Uh, so, um, I, I, we made her, the, their mom, sorry, we made their mom take the Harry Potter quiz and made them take the Harry Potter quiz and we made my mom or their Grammy take the Harry Potter quiz so we can find out what house everybody was in. So, come to find out, my sister, who I thought would have been a definite Slytherin, like absolutely would have been a Slytherin, is a Gryffindor. No way would I have been like, oh yeah, they're, that's, that's totally seeable. Um, the Niblet is a Gryffindor, but we already knew that. And my mom is a, a Slytherin, not what I would have thought at all. I seriously would have put her as like a Hufflepuff, maybe a Ravenclaw, but not a Slytherin. So she's a Slytherin. So this year for Christmas, I am making, God, fingers crossed, okay, you guys, because I'm the worst at getting presents done when they're supposed to be done. But I think that's just a craft thing. I'm making house scarves and hats. And then for the niblet, I'm making fingerless gloves because they love them so that's what's going on so I finished one hat I'm working on a scarf I don't think my mom's gonna wear her um house because it's not her favorite this is turning out really blue but I think it's because I'm outside and the lights are kind of the the lighting's kind of changing but this is really silver oh there it goes it's pretty there you go silver green and silver for Slytherin so we are um I got this hat. This is the Ross hat. Um, smells like yarn on YouTube. And I used his Ross hat um, pattern. I love it. I use it a lot. Um, I'm still, I would say a novice knit knitter. I don't, I wouldn't say I'm experienced at all. So, um, I mean, I've done things, but you know what I mean. So this is my, the Slytherin. And I'm working on the, um, house scarf to go with this like I said I don't think my mom's gonna wear it so I might take it back because let's be honest Drinko Malfoy is my boyfriend not really but still I I love him he just I just do okay I can't help it I wasn't rooting for him in the movies or in the books we all know that he did what he did because he had to or I think so so anyways long story short I think Draco Malfoy is the cutest. I love Tom Felton. He's so sweet. Um, so that I might just steal it back and it'll be, you know, my boyfriend's stuff. Anyways, long story short, that's how that goes. Um, let's see what else do I have. I think I'm getting to the end of some finished objects that I just had available. I finished a lot of things. Um recently and um have gifted things so that's that's a thing and all of my like blankets and things that I've made are in use and need to be washed so I didn't post I didn't bring them out obviously okay so this is another Ross hat this is with some Mandela yarn I love it it fades really pretty it's so cute so and it goes with these fingerless gloves that I made. And these are like little shell fingerless gloves. This is crochet. Ross hat is knit. Sorry, I should say that. Um, so these are fingerless gloves. And this is still that same skein of Mandela. And then it goes with, <laughs> because 2020 has been something. This is my COVID scarf shawl. And it was just... You know, you just crochet and crochet and crochet until it's where you want it to be. And so this is, this is my 2020 crocheted sh scarf shawl. And it all matches. So that is the finished objects that I have with me right now that I can show you. Um, 
I'm also participating in a, sorry, there's stuff on me, a filet crochet um, cowl all year long. So that's a crochet along. C is the crochet, A along. So that's what it is, just a crochet along. And we, um, each month get a new block um, and I'll put the link to that and I finished mine for this month it's up on my Instagram it's a pumpkin and but I've already attached it to the no I haven't attached it but I've attached the other months together so that when I hit December it'll be ready I just attach it and finish the border and I'll be done with another project like a blanket which is cool like a, I like a something you'd complete a little bit along I really liked this one because once you did like January February March you connect you went ahead and um basically did a granny script sorry granny square stitch border around the square and then you connected them so that first month three months and you connected those and then you you know you made your next ones and then you connected those so it's it's I like when it's something that as you go along it's ready to to connect um that makes me happy because I get very bored with large projects which you'll see because I'm about to show you what I'm working on three large projects because I've tried to get Christmas stuff done and other things done. So that's where we are. We're, so I'm finished with finished objects right now. Um, so I'm going to show you the three whips that I have here right now. I'm not going to lie. I probably have about seven whips, which are works in progress. Yeah, at least seven. So that's where we are on that. Okay, so let me start with what I have, like, right here that you guys have probably been seeing the whole time. Uh, this is a knit bl baby blanket for the same people who are getting the child um, hat. And um, this is, I think I found a video tutorial, and it's called, like, the easiest baby blanket. Again, I'll put the links in the comments, uh, or in the show notes. That's what I'm going to call them, the show notes. So this is just a real pretty I had um a large ball of this super saver um jumbo and I had used it for a project and I thought that I had enough to finish the baby blanket and I didn't so um it's still on the needles don't come at me yes I know you're not supposed to do your circle circulars like that sorry um so it's it's a ra rather large baby blanket um, but it's going to be fun. So I'm finishing this up. They're having, um, a little boy. So I made it in blue just because one, I had it and thought I was going to be using up yarn and finishing off yarn because that was part of my goal <laughs> for this year. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay. Just, just putting that out there. So this, uh, yarn, like I said, was Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo. It's called Light Blue. No dye lot. But look at this freaking um, blanket here. Oh, it's got a glare. So this blanket is the pattern on the inside of this ball. And I am going to make this. It's going to happen. Don't know when, but it's going to happen. This is so freaking beautiful. I love it. It's beautiful. I think I'll make it in like a, ooh, like a burnt orange color would be pretty. I do a lot of red and pink and so anyways that's yeah we need to do a different color okay so that's that now I showed you guys that I was making that I had oh y'all forgive my skein this is super saver ombre in that purple color it's not blue let's see oh it's picking up a little purpler it's really a pretty purple so um 
this I'm using this and black yarn for a mosaic blanket for my mom who's not going to watch this um, <laughs> so this is the start of it and this is by the group that I'm in is called pretty peaceful people but I'll post the link for this mosaic um, blanket and I think this is a paid pattern on Ravelry now it was not I don't believe when I signed up but I think think don't quote me on this think you can go to her group and get it for free I think but um, maybe not but anyways back to the thing so it's a mosaic blanket and if you see things on this I'm sorry I have dogs and she likes to lay on stuff so this is the mosaic blanket and it's just it's really fun it's a new to new something new for me I had never learned how to do this so I'm making this for mom so that's um that's that that's what I'm making right now and um, the third one, I thought I brought it out, but I didn't. I'm making another baby blanket out of Burnett baby yarn. Um, oh, I did not roll that back up right. Just put it to the side. So that's, it's just um, some stuff that I had laying around when I bought like a, a bulk yarn off of um, like somebody was getting rid of it off of like um, Facebook marketplace and so it was in that and I'm making another baby blanket for um, the niblets father's child okay and I'm just trying to think of anything else I can tell you guys um, I think that's it right now about like whips that I can tell you about or that I can remember off the top of my head yeah so let me grab my notes yes okay so let me tell you the next so this is the end of the fiber stuff so if you want to turn it off and not listen to my rambling about anything else then this is where you would turn it off at um Thank you for joining me. I hope you will like and subscribe and come back in hopefully in two weeks to do this again. And I'm going to be better prepared and have finished objects. Okay, that's the promise. So um, I'm going to show, I'm going to, I have show notes and I'm going to pull those up. And I'm also going to pull my YouTube stuff up and so I can tell you who I like to watch what I'm reading, listening to on audiobooks or the public library app, and what I'm watching on TV. 2020's been hard, you guys. I have a lot of shows that I really enjoy um, a lot. So, you know, not having those, we were expecting some conclusions, some answers have been hard. So... Okay, what have I been reading? So currently, one of the podcasts that I watch, which is Needles at the Ready, which is a play on Wands at the Ready. They love Harry Potter too. So they are hosting a Discovery of Witches real-time read-along. The writer... Deborah, Deborah Harkness, I can never, I'm not, if I murdered that name, please just forgive me. Tell me how to say it. So she hosts a real-time read-along of a discovery of a witch, of a discovery of witches every year. So it starts on, let me pull the, because I have a um, photo of what 
when and all that good stuff when it starts. So it always starts September 18th is chapter one. And I'll put this on there, but it's a like a real-time read calendar. So if you read that chapter that day, that's when it happened calendar-wise on that physical date. So that, I like that. That was really fun. Um, so we're still doing that. Today is the 20th and I'm not gonna lie I got behind we're supposed to be on chapter 38 I think I'm on chapter like 20 so it happens anyways the reason I got behind back to what I was reading is I found in the public library app plus book tiktok really is not cool it's just not cool y'all because I found Sarah J. Mass and her A Court of Throne, A, A Court of Throne and Roses series and blew through those books. So that's why I'm behind on my Discovery Witch read along. Yeah, but I've read all three books in the um, A Court of Throne and, and Roses series. <laughs> I'm reading... A Court of Frost and Starlight right now, um, but I'm trying to get caught up with Discovery of Witches before I do that, which I probably can get caught up today. Um, what else have I been reading? I think that's it right now. Those, yeah, because I got really, really hyper-focused on um, Sarah J. Mass's new book or the they're new to me so that's that's what we're doing um okay so watching on tv there aren't i don't really have any shows that are out right now because i like like the handmaid's tale this is us there's a bunch of them that i'm just you know i really watch um pretty frequently, pretty religiously. I can't think of the rest of it because they're not on. So I don't know what I'm, what I'm waiting on. You know what I mean? So that's, that's hard. Um, cause 2020 shut everything down. Uh, oh, Discovery of the Witches has a show and it's by that same title. Um, and they had actually shot everything and just needed to like do, um, you know, like final stuff. So release date for season two of that show is January 2021. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get to see that soon. I know This Is Us comes back like October 27th. I think it's a Tuesday. So that's coming back for a few episodes. Um, so I'll be watching that. And then I've just been watching um, some YouTube knitters right now. Uh, not that I am ignoring my crocheters. I just haven't caught up with everybody right now. But recently I watched um, Ross at Smells Like Yarn. Um... The guy, oh, Cozy Moth Knits podcast. She just hit um, 1,000 subscribers. So she did a giveaway. That was amazing. Uh, Needles at the Ready. Um, Sweet Tea No Shade. Mm, Not Your Average Knitting podcast. I'm just scrolling through. By the way, you guys, I love Marley Bird. She's, um, she is the freaking cutest here in her, um, this is called a pumpkin spice crop top crochet sweater. Look at this freaking sweater. It's freaking cute as Hades. I love that. I'm not brave, but she is the cutest thing ever, so I love that. Um, Cozy Up Knits. Mm -hmm. 
I'm trying to think of who else I watch. I think that's it, you guys. Um, yes, I know I didn't. Oh, Bag of Day Crochet, but she does like tutorials, not as many. Um, you know what I mean? Not as many like podcasty things. So that's that. Um, okay, that's all that. What else have I been watching? Of course, it's I told you Halloween's my favorite, so um, anytime any of the spooky movies or Halloween movies come on, I watch those. So, like Michael Myers, Halloween, Jason, Freddy, um, any of those. Of course, I watch Disney movies, too, because I'm a big kid. So, um, you know, Halloween Town 1 and 2, because the other ones don't exist. I don't know what they did on those, but they don't exist. Hocus Pocus. Um, Practical Magic. I watched The Craft the other day. To be honest with you, these movies that I'm telling you are movies that I watch just pretty much year-round. Um, I haven't watched Harry Potter recently. There for a while, I was watching it, like, pretty religiously. So I haven't watched that in a few weeks. Mm, probably a few months. I haven't watched the animated Beauty and the Beast or the new Beauty and the Beast with Emma Watson recently, but I own both. Um, probably later today or over the weekend, I'm going to watch Charlie Brown. It's a, it's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, just because I love those movies, those little things. Um... That's not a pretty face. Don't do that again. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Um, I like The Hunger Games. I watch that a lot. Pride and Prejudice. Not with Colin Firth. I love him, though. That that I just couldn't find it. That's not the one I have. Um, but, no, oh, I love that. I love that book, too, so. Um... I think that's it. So, I plan to try to do these every two weeks. Fingers crossed. Let me tell you that I have ADD and I have an autoimmune disease. So, if I go missing and you guys are like, what the heck happened to her? Totally, you can reach out and just make sure I'm cool. I'll, you know, if there are issues, I'll try to post, but let's just be honest, I'm a person, I forget, I get hyper-focused on stuff and get distracted. I've been wanting to do this. I've been talking about starting this podcast since probably lockdown in March. And to be honest with you, I wasn't confident enough that people would watch it or that it would be good or that I would be, you know, not have to buy a bunch of stuff to do it. And I just decided that if you guys didn't watch it, that's cool. I'm going to do it for myself and I'll have, a, I'll have video of items that I've completed because I'm terrible at updating my Ravelry and taking pictures and just stuff in general. So let's be honest. I, I know my faults not gonna lie so um gonna grab a dr drink of water here in my cup okay so put scrub life back up there um but yeah so if you guys have questions want to know something i will definitely answer everything that i can also um Check the show notes for how to get in touch with me, where to find me, and I'll try to put links to all of, I'm going to do my very best, to all the patterns that 
I mentioned hats and stuff, everything that I can find. I'll also link um, or list the YouTube channels for my, you know, like my favorite podcast right now. And you guys can tell me, you know, if there's some that I'm missing that I should check out, like crochet related, that would be awesome, loom knit related, um, things like that. That would be cool to find and, and see. So, I did it again. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, have I been sitting here with a smudge on my face this whole time? Oh, well. It is what it is. So, I think we're coming to the end. This one's short, 45 minutes. Um, yeah, as things go and grow, we'll see what we can do to make them better. If you have tips or tricks or things like that, let me know. I think next um, podcast, I will try to show you guys like my favorite hooks, my favorite um, knitting needles, bags that I use, um, stitch markers that I use, stuff like that. Uh, so... And where you can find them. And I think that's it. So I, thanks for joining me. I hope you guys have a good day. Drink your water. Um, take your meds if you need to. That's the nurse. But also just take care of yourself. This is a really weird world. And really weird time that we're living in. And just take care of yourself and love each other. So, um, I think that's it, you guys. Again, if you have questions, drop them in the comments. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And hopefully things will get better as we go along. And that's it. Have a good day. Bye.